Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's 24-7-365 Robin. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm running out of breath. But today I wanted to come and do a brand new to me foundation video. This is Josie Morin Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation Fluid. And it is one ounce. The packaging is very pretty, holographic, and it claims to be, let's see, no synthetic fragrance, cruelty free, recyclable, gluten free, natural ingredients, paraben free, organic argan oil, organic ingredients. So that's a lot of good stuff. And it also claims after four weeks, 100% of subjects experience a significant increase of moisture by 106%. 98% subjects significant increase of skin smoothness and softness by 111%. So there's a lot of claims here on the box. I'm not going to go through and read them all, but... Seems like a good product. Anyhow, I wanted to try it out. But first of all, I wanted to tell you what I did. I'm a 44 year old woman and I don't know if I'm starting to go through menopause, change of life, what, but I've been growing some little facial hairs that I don't really care for. So I used my little, you've probably seen it at the drugstore, just pop in the batteries down below. It's got a light, it's a little bitty shaver and you just, wherever you have little hairs that you don't like shave them off and I haven't experienced any extra regrowth so that was my first step my second step today was I just went over my skin with a a nice uh, micellar water this one's by Pacifica kale water micellar cleansing tonic rinse free removes stubborn makeup brightens and tones glycolic infused oil and blemish prone skin types 100% vegan and cruelty free. I absolutely love this brand. As you can see, it's more than halfway gone. I use it daily. And next, I wanted to moisturize my skin. So I went in with a little bit of the Tatcha water cream. My husband got me this little bottle for Christmas. This is July. Let me tell you, I've been milking it, but I'm down to my last little bit of scoops in there. I'll even get this off the lid. I absolutely love it. It is a bit pricey, but it was a good Christmas gift for my husband. Of course, I told him about it. He wouldn't have known anything about it otherwise. Next, I went in and primed my skin. This is by Cover Effects Blurring Primer. And it is a um, tinted slightly tinted primer. It's very thick, almost like a putty. It is a putty, I guess, but very thick. Kind of, um, but it goes on very creamy and smooth. It doesn't change your color, really. Very smoothing, though. I don't notice a scent. <clears throat> I wouldn't be able to notice it if it did have a scent, because right now I'm wearing this little bitty sample of Tom Ford's Black Orchid perfume. Smells very good, but it's very strong. So I wouldn't be able to tell if anything had a scent anyway. Anyhow, to the main star. I've never tried this um, foundation. You open it up, it has a pretty blue inside there. It says, um, Conscience. Luxury with Conscience. That's a good thing. <clears throat> nice glass bottle. Very pretty. Glass packaging. Says the name of the product right there on the front. Probably a plastic cap. And the color I got is Juicy RG50. It says Shake Well. Plastic top, but the inside's a cute little blue color. So I'm going to start shaking it up. And I'm going to use these Eco Tools 
foundation brushes that I just recently purchased. I don't know if that is from my cat or from the brush. Okay, so there are some little hairs sticking up top. I don't think that should affect anything, but I'm probably going to use this bigger one, maybe the smaller one, I don't know. But this is by Eco Tools. It's another brand I really, really, really like. This one says Ultimate Pop. And that's the smaller one. And this one says Ultimate Buff. So I'm guessing they think this one's a cheap brush and this one's a face brush. <clears throat> So, I think I've given it a thorough shaking. I don't know how full coverage this is. Let me see if it says. It doesn't really say what kind of coverage it has. But, we'll see. I'll go in light and build it up if I have to. I'm crazy about these little extra hairs on this brush, but here we go. Ooh soaking right into the brush there. I don't know if you can see that. And I put quite a bit on there, but it did soak into the brush and brushes do tend to eat up a lot of foundation. So we'll see how this goes. I'm kind of looking around the camera. And I don't know about the color match e either because it has crazy names. Like this one's called Jiggy. I just had to kind of like go by the description. It's not a full coverage. I'd say it's a medium, probably. Buildable coverage. I feel like it's scented, but like I said, I can't tell over the smell of my perfume if it's scented or not. The color is... I can't tell if it's a bit light for me or a bit yellow for me. Well, I'll definitely build it up some and let you know if the color match is good for me. I tend to have a medium to light medium complexion with rosy undertones. Woo! She got away from me. The handle on this Eco Tools brush is very <laughs> kind of slippery. I don't know if it's because of my um, moisturizer or if it's just the texture of the brush. Or I should say the lack of texture of the brush. What do you think? It's dewy. It's definitely not full coverage. Let me hit up my forehead. Put some more. That first one was probably, what, four pumps on my cheeks and the lower half of my face. Let's do two pumps. And now that the brush is wet, it's not absorbing as much product. Two pumps is probably way too much for my forehead. But we can go down the sides, too. I haven't done my eyebrows yet. Well, I did brush them, but that's all it did. not <clears throat> I'm trying to grow them back after years of over plucking, over waxing. I'm trying to actually grow them in now. And it's a hard process, let me tell you. To be patient while they're looking crazy. I have to say, it's got really nice coverage. And I do like the dewy effect. Got a lot of forehead there. Might be a little too dewy right now. Nothing the little powder won't fix. And it might dry down. It doesn't say if it's matte or dewy or anything on the package. I think I'm going to put a smidge more in this area where I tend to be reddest. I know that's what concealer is for, but concealer I find sometimes to be too thick for me. Since I have more mature skin it seems to settle into my cracks and pores. 
This is a very nice feeling foundation. And I brought out a um, concealer. But I don't think I'm going to use a concealer today. Might use a little bit of translucent setting powder and call it a day. But okay, this is coverage with six pumps of <clears throat> the Josie Marin Vibrancy shade Juicy. I think I said Jiggy earlier. But what do you guys think? It's very dewy for sure. Very dewy. So let me grab a setting powder. What perfect timing. I happened to get in the mail this Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Flower Setting Powder. So what a better time to try it out than with this Vibrancy Foundation. Comes in this cute little, it's just like a little bag of flour. But then when you open it up, it's gold top, plastic bottom. And I got the um, translucent. You open it up, it has a little protector that you peel off. I had already done that. And that's your standard little sifter top thingy. Let me get a fluffy powder brush. I'm going to use this one. It's a blush brush, but I'm going to use it anyway. Because I don't like rules. This is the pure blush brush. I'm going to do some of that setting powder. All over. Because to me... Yeah, this brush isn't good enough. <clears throat> Let's go in with the BH Cosmetics V1. Big old fat brush. I'm from the south, so we say big old. South Florida. We're about as south as New York City, if you ask me. The further you go north from us, the more southern they get. But in Florida, South Florida, we're a pretty good melting pot, I think. Okay, so this is the foundation with setting powder. It definitely took away oops, some of the shine. But I'm okay with a little shine as long as I don't look oily and greasy. So there you go. Vibrancy by Joey M Josie Marin. J O S I E Marin. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And the shade Juicy. All right. Let me know what you guys think down below. Subscribe if you like, and there'll be more videos to come. Love you guys. Mwah.